Sometimes it's hard to tell whether a behavior problem is coming from some biological problem. In fact, there are three causes for behavioral problems in children. I'm going to explore those with you so you can help take this apart a little bit as you're working with children. One of the causes of behavioral problems is biological. That is, a child has ADHD. That's a brain issue that's going on. Or a child has uh, some other problem like autism or uh, something like that that's affecting them. It's a biological challenge. Or sometimes it's the biological challenge is a child's hungry or a child is tired. And because of those things, we see eruptions in their behavior. So we have to keep that in mind. A second reason why a person has um, behavioral problems is because of some pattern of reacting to life situations. Sometimes it's a, a post-traumatic stress that a child is experiencing in regards to either one past event or many past events. And then there's a trigger that causes that to come about. That's a whole second category of problems that children experience because of trauma or other things. Or maybe it's reactive attachment disorder that a child has or oppositional defiant disorder. Those are different than the biological challenges that children experience. And so we need to know that it's coming from that different kind of a source. And sometimes those are patterns that children develop, like arguing with mom disorder or some other uh, challenge about whining or complaining that children have. And, and so that's a second cause of behavioral challenges that children experience. A third cause has to do with spiritual. And when I refer to spiritual, I'm not talking specifically about sin, but I'm talking about the uh, self-concept of a person. Every person has a spirit, and that's their, where their self-concept is, their identity. That's why when we become Christians, we have this new identity that we talk about. And children have identity issues sometimes. They might um, believe certain things about themselves that cause them to act out in a particular way. Let, let's tie these together because they're more interwoven than we often think. A child who has a biological problem, let's say ADHD, may develop a pattern of arguing with mom uh, because he doesn't get what he wants and he's uh, persistent and he doesn't recognize the social cues. So how much of that is the ADHD and how much of that is a pattern that's developed that's really coming from the selfishness inside of the child? That's an important question that we need to ask. Or maybe it's because the child is developing this perception of himself because he has ADHD and he he uh, has this problem of being corrected a lot and arguing. Maybe he's developing a perception inside of his spirit that I'm a troublemaker or that I I uh, just don't get along with people. And so that becomes a spiritual and dynamic issue. So it's very important to be able to look at all three of those. Sometimes there are those things going on, and sometimes it's just the selfishness that happens in a child's life. Let me read what Paul said about his selfishness. He said this in Romans 7, 18 and 19. For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is in my sinful nature, for I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. So there's sometimes when just the sinful nature comes out and there's this selfishness that takes over our lives. So when we recognize that there are all these different options, it makes our decision making much more important as we're parenting children. The beautiful thing about a heart-based approach is that we can address all of those things. Our solutions that we use in a heart-based approach help children with ADHD develop obligation in their heart so that the obligation, this internal sense I need to, overcomes the impulse that they're experiencing. So sometimes what we're trying to do is really work with a biological challenge a child has, but we don't always have to do it with a biological solution. Sometimes children's parents think that, oh, my child has this biological problem. I need to then resort to a, a medical doctor to get help. And although that may be true and may be helpful, I just want you to know there are heart-based solutions that can help a child who has some biological issues. If the pattern is just a, this habit of relating, we don't want to blame it on their challenge that they have as a biological problem. We want to address it as the selfishness that has developed in their life. So we're going to work on this on a number of different levels but a heart-based approach is the best way to approach these challenges.